What's up everybody, happy New Year's Eve. It's Sean here and I'm back today to give you guys another New Balance review. So today we'll be taking a look at the second pair in the Stray Rats New Balance 991 pack, this time in the brown, purple, and green colorway. Today's video is sponsored by the good people from Hefalux. Hefalux is my all-time favorite sneaker insoles and they sell ETPU insoles, which essentially is the same material you'll find in Adidas Boost. So if you're looking to add some additional comfort inside your shoes, be sure to check out their website, which I've linked down below, and you'll see they sell four different insole options. So depending on the type of insole density and the cushioning setup you're looking for, whether that's for a pair of winter boots or for sneakers, you're gonna find there's something for everybody. So I've been a paying customer of Heflux for years now, and I honestly stand by their products. They truly are very comfortable. So if you guys wanna check them out and try a pair for yourself, be sure to use the code SEANGO at checkout to get 15% off your entire purchase. If you guys didn't watch my previous review of the Stray Rats 991 in this black and pink colorway, I uploaded that yesterday, but if you haven't seen that, I'll link that down below. But today we'll be taking a closer look at this brown and purple colorway, which released together at the same time earlier this month in December. So the style code for this brown and purple colorway is M991SRG, and they retailed for the same price of 250 US dollars, which is the equivalent to roughly 320 Canadian dollars. So just like the brown and pink colorway, these come in the same natural colored cardboard box, except on the right side, we have this pixelated Stray Rats logo in red. So diving into the details of this shoe, this is your classic made in England or made in UK New Balance shoe out of their factory in Flimby. And whereas the black and pink colorway was a little bit more simple in its color blocking, this one in contrast is much louder. So the base layer of this shoe, visible on the toe box, this is covered in this deep purple colored suede. We have this reflective 3M hit right above this in the middle, and overlaid on either side of the toe box, we have this gray colored nubuck. Surrounding the front toe cap, we have this brown colored nubuck, and embroidered on the lateral side, we have this Stray Rats branding done in the same tonal finish. Covering the eyelets of the shoe, we have more of this gray colored nubuck, and the top two eyelets are done in this purple colored TPU finish. Beneath this on the mid panel, we have this brown colored nubuck with a secondary layer of 3M underneath, and stitched on top, we have this reflective 3M New Balance logo, which is done in this neon green color. Running down the length of the mid panel, we have more of this gray colored nubuck, and then moving next to this, you can see more of that purple colored suede with another layer on top of gray colored nubuck. And then wrapping around the heel, this brown colored nubuck with this oval shaped cutout with 991 branding in purple. And at the very top of the heel, we have another hit of reflective silver 3M. Surrounding the bottom of the back heel, we have this purple colored TPU heel clip, which gives you added structure and support for the back end of the shoe. And then turning our attention back to the front of the sneaker, so these come with three different pairs of laces. My personal favorite were these neon green colored flat laces, but they also give you a purple colored lace and a gray colored lace as well. Underneath this, the tongue is constructed out of this purple colored mesh, but we have this new book overlay on top with New Balance 991 branding embroidered in this purple color. So the back of the tongue and the inner liner of this shoe is covered in this neon green color textile. And then for the insoles, these come with a pretty well padded foam insole. It's finished in this brown color on top, and we have Stray Rats and New Balance branding stamped on the heel. So the upper of the 991 sits atop this chunky absorbed foam midsole. The midsole is painted in purple on the forefoot and this bluish gray on the back heel, and we have visible absorb both underneath the forefoot and underneath the heel too. Turning the shoe over to the bottom, so the outsole here is constructed out of this black colored rubber. We have this N-shaped traction pattern on the forefoot, along with the New Balance word mark visible on the heel. So that breaks down the look and the construction of these 991s. And for those wondering how these fit, so these fit the same to me as the black and pink colorway, so I felt like they ran a little bit more snug than your traditional New Balance shoe. So I'm a true size 10, slightly on the wider side, and I wear between a 9.5 and, and a 10 in my New Balance sneakers. So to give you as a point of reference, I got these in my true size, which is a size 10, and they fit me well in a nice snug way. So I feel like if you have wide feet, you might want to avoid this shoe or go up a half size, but they definitely fit more narrow than most other New Balance silhouettes. So just to give you guys some point of comparison, other New Balance silhouettes that I stick true to size in include the 997, the 990 V2 because it's also slightly narrow in the toe box, the 1500 and the 1530. And in comparison, I go a half size down or a nine and a half in the 990 V3, V4, V5, the 998, the 550 and the 992. Moving on to the comfort on this shoe. So overall the comfort wasn't bad. I wouldn't say that it's the most comfortable New Balance silhouette out there. I personally prefer models like the 990 V3 to 5 and the 2002R, but that's not to say that it's gonna be uncomfortable. 
It's gonna be a great shoe for just everyday casual use. And the Absorb on the midsole definitely gives you a good balance of support and cushioning, but it just comes down to personal preference. I thought that the forefoot felt a little bit minimal from a cushioning standpoint, and the overall fit of the shoe left a little bit to be desired. Finally, in terms of the overall quality of the shoe and the craftsmanship as well, I thought that this pair was pretty good. The materials I thought were great, so all the new bucks, the suede's, coming straight from their Flimby factory, I really had no issues at all from a quality standpoint, and also from a craftsmanship standpoint. While it wasn't perfect, there were minimal glue stains and some loose threads that I had to trim off myself. They weren't nearly as bad as my black and pink pair, and I thought they did a pretty solid job on this specific colorway. All that out of the way now, let's lace these up and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. So I said this before in yesterday's video, but both the black and pink and this brown and purple colorway, it really remind me of a Shredder and Splinter from Ninja Turtles pack. And that's part of the reason why I was really drawn to it. Objectively speaking, between the two, I don't think I love the black and pink colorway that much, but somehow this brown, green, and purple combination, somehow it really works. It's a pretty random color combination and I wouldn't expect myself to like them, but I think that's part of the appeal of this shoe, how they can throw together so many random colors and somehow make it look unified. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about the Stray Rats New Balance 991 and this brown, purple, and green colorway. Between this one and the black and pink, which of the two do you guys prefer? And for those of you guys watching, did you cop these, did you pass, or did you take an L? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at sgo8, check me out on my Twitter account at sean.go, and visit my website at seango.ca. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys have a great New Year's Eve, and I look forward to producing more videos for you guys in 2022.